Today's video is sponsored by Black Gold Compost Company. I want to thank the good people over at Black Gold for the generous donate, donation of all this beautiful black cow cow manure that uh, we use in our video today. And uh, it's made a tremendous success in our garden. I've been using black cow for uh, many years, ever since 1980, and it's always made a tremendous difference in my garden. And I've been very pleased with our product. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Black Gold, for sponsoring our channel. Well, good morning. I just love okra, and I'm gonna grow some today with you. I thought you might wanna grow it with me. We'll be right back after the break. Well, welcome back. Man, I just love okra. I love it boiled. I love it fried. I even like it pickled. This, it's just something about okra. I don't know, you either like it or you hate it, and I like it. And this is pretty tasty. Now, usually we grow the um, the green ones, you know, the spineless, Clemson spineless um, okra. But today I wanted to try a new okra and see how you like it. It's uh, um, called the Jing Orange. This okra is kind of a reddish orange color, kind of unique. I kind of like the unique stuff, as you know. So anyway, this is a nice, pretty little okra. Um, I got these seeds at Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. So check out Baker Creek online if you want to get some of these seeds. They got a big variety of all kinds of good stuff on there to choose from because usually when I get on their website, I end up getting far more than I ever intended to get. But it's a good website and they're good people to work with. So uh, if you ever, ha ever have any questions about their seeds or anything about the growing process, uh, you can email them or give them a call and they're extremely helpful. Anyway, Baker Creek, good folks. Anyway, I'm gonna get these um, started today. I'm gonna plant a couple of rows of them. I'm gonna put them directly, sow them directly into the um, earth garden. And I'm gonna do that the way I always do. I'm gonna first off start off by cultivating the row, get it nice and cultivated about four, four inches deep. Then I'll grade it out with my grading rake and smooth it out as good as I can. And I'll put up my, move my guide string over to my row punch some holes in. I'm gonna punch these in about every 12 inches and I put my rows three feet apart. So about every 12 inches, I'll pop a hole in the ground and then I'll come back with my super duper seed dropper, one inch piece of PVC pipe. I stick it in the hole and I drop the seed in the top of the pipe and goes right in the hole. Then I cover it up, water it in and we'll watch the progress of these all the way out until we harvest them, you know, through the, uh, as they grow and they bloom and they, produce the fruit and then we'll harvest some together. So let's go over here to the earth garden and get these beautiful zing orange, jing orange uh, okras in the ground get started.
Well, all right. We got two rows of the Jing orange okra. I got them uh, planted right here, and uh, we'll be back in the days ahead and watch the development of these. I wanted to point out to you, if this is the first time you're growing okra, these are prolific producers. So uh, if you like okra, just keep in mind, these things produce a lot. You'll, you'll be harvesting, once they get going, you'll be harvesting the okras off of them every two to three days. And, I, and they just keep on giving. So keep that in mind whenever you're um, putting this into your garden, how much do you really want to eat? You may not want to put as much as I put in, but I put in a lot because I'm going to share it with a lot of people. But uh, you may be wanting to do the same thing. Just keep that in mind that they do produce way more than you expect. So we'll be back soon. We'll watch these beautiful plants come to life. See you soon. Why do Jing Orange Okra have emerged? and it's only been seven days. That's these two rows right here. Um, you're probably having a hard time seeing it on the camera with um, the color of the leaves, you know, with the background of the leaves of the okra and a little bit of leaf chop that still lifts in my garden. But they're there, and they're just so far little coddling leaves, and I'm fixing to get a, a true leaf on them, so I would say in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to see these with no problem. Right now they're only about an inch tall, so we'll be back in a couple of weeks and take another look at these beauties. See you then. Well, our orange okra is really getting some uh, traction now. They've got some beautiful true leaves on them. Here's the two rows right here. One here and one here. They're up about six inches tall now. Nice beautiful big true uh, true leaves so it's not going to be very much longer here you're going to see these things start to make some giant strides it's april 10th and uh, we started these from seed on march the 13th we direct sowed if you'll remember march the 13th the day is april 10th so it's only been about a month right about a month but now it's starting to get hot and okra loves heat so with this hot weather coming on, you'll see these okras just thrive. So we'll be back in the days ahead and watch the progress. See you soon. Well, our two rows of ying okra, or jing okra, however you want to pronounce it. Us southern boys say jing, and Nancy corrected me and said it's called ying. So, <laughs> like ying yang. Anyway, it's a, a beautiful okra plant. I love the stalks on them. The, the stalks of the plant are pure red, which I'm used to seeing pure green on, you know, my uh, Clemson um, okra. But this ying okra has a red uh, stem and it produces the reddish orange okras, which I think is pretty cool, pretty unique. Let me show you a couple of them up close. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? So anyway, we got the uh, the plants are ready to harvest. Now these plants will continue to grow throughout the rest of the, the uh, remainder of our summer here in Florida and um, we should be able to come out and get a pretty good basket full off of two okras. We should get about four enough for four or five meals um, each week with ease, with ease, probably even more than that. But anyway, these plants will continue to grow. They'll actually get up about six feet tall. So there, this is just the very beginning. This is just the very first harvest. I just wanted to show you what they look like. So if you want to grow some uh, this summer in your, um, in your spring garden, I think you might get a kick out of growing some of these. Well, this is what I got this morning. This morning's pickings. It's really not uh, our very big harvest, but it's just our first harvest. And believe me, and uh, once these things get going, they are prolific producers. I mean, you will be getting tons of these okra, so be careful how many you plant. But anyway, I just wanted to clean these up a little bit and let you take a look at them. 
and how pretty these things are up close. Oh boy, I love fried okra. I like okra steamed, I like it boiled, I like it fried, and I like it pickled. And you can pickle it where it's a kind of a mild, or you can pickle it and make it spicy. So Nancy likes it spicy, and of course I like it mild. But all in all, I like okra. One of my favorite vegetables in the summer garden. Now this is a uh, quite unique looking okra. I've never eaten any of it like this before. All my okra's always been the Clemson green okras. That's what I'm always used to seeing, but this right here is plenty. That's plenty for a meal right there. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little journey on uh, growing some of this ying okra or jing okra, however you want to say it. Anyway, it's an orange okra, but we had fun growing it, and I think I'm going to have a lot more fun eating it. But anyway, I hope our video brought uh, a smile to your face and some joy to your heart and made, a, made you have a kind of a happy day. So until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember, by his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day.